And joining us at the round table this week is Tamika Weatherspoon, my colleague here at Mountain Lake PBS. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. You are here. working on a new documentary that follows the lives of some veterans who have returned home from, from war. Yes, the film is called On Home Ground, and we follow three Iraq and Afghanistan local veterans here in our community. For an individual that has deployed their thought of home and family is going to evolve. It may have nothing to do with wife and kids. It may be everything completely to do with their own ability to let others in. They all seem to have a hard time adjusting to life back home. It actually takes a lot longer than I think a lot of people expect, both veteran and non-veterans. The process of reacclimating, we've learned it can take 10 years or more. Some people actually never really feel like they're at home. There seems to be this, this sense of purpose that, that needs to be found after you come back. Um, when you're at war, there is, an, there is an obvious, there's a very clear sense of purpose and direction. And when you come home, it's, uh, you know, uncertainty. You don't know what the next day is going to bring. With Chris Pazer, we see with his injury, uh, he needs medical treatment and attention. He has to drive all the way to the VA hospital in Albany, and I know that's an issue for a lot of veterans here in this rural part of New York where we live. They've got to drive long distances to get their medical care. And it's a troubling issue because the people who have to go to Albany are typically the ones that, that may have the hardest time getting to Albany. So Chris is blind. Mm -hmm. One of his eyes was destroyed um, in Iraq and the other one he has about 10% of the vision so he can't drive. So he has to rely on someone else to provide that assistance for him. Do the veterans suffer from post-traumatic stress? It's fair to say some individuals featured in the film um, have a sense of post-traumatic stress. We were very careful to to avoid using it as a label and having the stigma attached. And where you, you talk about being very sensitive and in and, and the filming and, and following the three veterans, at the same time, it's very intimate. And there was a purpose for that. We really wanted to, there's this, uh, there's this theme during the film of connection, and there's this disconnect between civilians and veterans uh, that is a theme, an ongoing theme, um, I think, in reality, but we wanted to tackle that in the film. And in order to do that, we really wanted to get close to these individuals and understand their perspective and see through their eyes. So as a civilian, if you're watching this film, you can understand through their perspective how they view civilians. Mm -hmm. um, and the few civilians we have, um, how they view veterans. What are you hoping that viewers will take away from this? I think our hope is just for people to have felt like they've been in someone else's shoes and um, in understanding why there are communication issues. We really want people, veterans and non-veterans, to, to take a look at this film and, and see what it's like through their eyes. And the great thing about this documentary is we not only see it through the veterans' eyes, but we see how it affects their families. And for the title of the film, On Home Ground, a lot of the grounding sense of being home is the family. And the families are as much a part of the film is the individuals being featured. They, they, they shape their, their lives um, in a way that I think is often unintentionally ignored and underappreciated. It's become routine for filmmakers and documentary producers to turn to crowdfunding now mm -hmm. to help cover costs for longer format documentaries like this. We just started a Kickstarter campaign. Um, people can get involved until October 25th. It's an interesting platform that's sort of interactive. If you donate and you know receive a reward, one of the rewards is getting a private link to the unfinished film. So we get your feedback before the, the right. product's even finished. So folks can actually view the documentary before mm -hmm. it's finished and, and, uh, and premieres on air. Mm -hmm. and since this is such a hyper-local film, we're really excited to hear from the community. And if they'd like to learn more? Kickstarter.com. And you just search On Home Ground, uh, where our page will pop up. You just click on it and learn all about it. There will be a public screening uh, of the documentary that's coming up in, in Plattsburgh uh, yes. uh, early in November. November 9th at uh, Clinton Community College, we will have the world premiere screening and you can RSVP on our website. And then two days later, mm -hmm. appropriately enough on Veterans Day, 
uh, Tuesday, November 11th. It premieres here on Mountain Lake PBS. Broadcast television premiere. It's called On Home Ground, Tamika Weatherspoon from Mountain Lake PBS. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Thank you for having me.